today we're going to be reviewing the Our Generation Chip Chip Hooray cookie cart. Guys, I am so excited for this, as always. If you've been watching my videos for a while, you know I'm such a fake foodie in the doll world. Like, I just love the fake food. I think it's awesome. It's, like, what I live with. Like, I just go with it. Like, I don't go with it. Like, the, it's, like, who I am as a person. Okay, I, I think I might be getting too exaggerational here. But anyways, I am so excited. Cookies are, like, my favorite food. Okay, so, like, when our generation announced and they came out with a cookie cart, I was like, <gasps> I need it! Like, me and the dolls, we need this! Yeah, I'm really excited, and without further ado, since I'm just, like, really pumped and so excited, let's get started. Okay, everyone, so here is the cookie cart all open up and set up. So first, I think we should look at all of the fun details that the cookie cart has to offer itself, and then we'll look at all the fun accessories it comes with, and then if time allows, I will set up the cookie cart for you. So I feel like without further ado, let's look at the cookie cart. So here is what the cookie cart kind of looks down, stripped down without all the accessories all over it. So basically, the whole structure of the cookie cart is a scooter. Okay, so you have like the front side, kind of half of a scooter attached to the front. This scooter I would compare to, if you know, this, I can't really remember the exact name of the scooters, but these are like the scooters that you would see like around like France and stuff, like Paris, people riding on them. Um, so that's that. So it's like half of a scooter, okay? And then the back half where like the other half of the scooter would be is the cookie cart. So it's the kind of store of the cookie cart. You have like the counters, you have like the milk stuff. The color scheme of the cookie cart is this light pink with bright pink trim along the windows. We also see white in different areas of the cookie cart and brown is present in the cookie cart as well. So first let's talk about the cookie part, cookie cart itself and then we'll get into like the scooter part of it. So what customer sees when they walk up, you have a brown kind of display counter. It's basically a shelf. So you have the counter, then you have three kind of shelves below it. So you have three spaces to display your cookies. This is brown and then it's kind of has this like wood detailing on it too, which is really cool. Now there's not any plastic clear stuff covering it. So you can, so like customers can kind of reach in there. Right next to that, you have this marble countertop. This is where you can check out customers or tips orders if you wanted to but on the side of this cookie cart you actually have this card kind of reader and it's kind of pressed into the counter um, it's not really 3d but it's kind of 3d I don't feel like I'm doing a good job describing that very well down below that you have a cookie that looks like it's been eaten <laughs> kind of taking a bite out of it and it says OG this is kind of the logo for the cookie cart um, that is just on some white tiles so that is kind of the front side I guess of the cookie cart. Also, I forgot to mention you do have a wheel on this side that rolls. It does, it does roll because it's a cookie cart, a scooter thing. And then you have a blinker light, which is red, but it does not light up, sadly. The cookie cart does not have any sounds or noises. Well, that's basically the same thing as sounds or anything that lights up in it, sadly. On the back side of the cookie cart, you actually have this door that opens. To open the door, you actually have to put your hand on the handle and turn it to the right for it to open. And then your doll can step inside and could actually work at the cookie cart. We will step inside here in a couple few minutes. Right now we're going to be talking about the outside and then we're going to be going in. And then to get it to close, you just turn your handle to the right and then it closes. I really like that detail. This is the next side of the cookie cart. This is, it's this light pink color with a dark pink trim and dark pink circle windows. On the left side, you can just kind of see in. On the right side, you could see in, but you kind of get, get a good view of the milk kind of dispensers that we're going to talk about here in a couple few minutes. On the bottom left, you have a blinker light. It is red, but like I said, it does not light up. There's no sounds or lighting up things in the cookie cart. You do have a wheel on the side, and then on the right side, you have an OG logo. So now we're going to be talking about the scooter part itself. So you have a seat where your dolls could sit on. This is just all plastic. The seat is not cushioned or anything. It's a very hard plastic. 
On the inside it's white and then the outside of it is this light pink color. It matches perfectly with the cookie cart. On the inside you do have these two buttons. One is a left arrow and you can push down on it, but if you push down on it nothing happens. On the right side you do have that same white arrow that you can push down button, nothing happens. And then in the middle you have the sticker detail where it tells you how much gas you have and how fast you're going. Right above the seat on the scooter we have another window where you can see inside the cookie cart. The trim of this is that same bright pink color. Heading on inside to the cookie cart, the floor is this light pink color and you actually have polka dots on the floor that are kind of like 3 d and you could like feel them. On the left side when you first walk in you have that cabinet I was talking about, that countertop. Below the countertop you have the fridge where you can keep maybe some milk or you know you could either just use this as a fridge or you can honestly just use this as storage for some extra cookies or you can use this maybe as an oven you know heat up or warm up some cookies I feel like uh, you can do a lot with that on the right side when you first walk in you have two shelves and they're different levels so the first one that's a little bit higher than the second one has those milk jugs that I was talking about they're kind of milk dispensers I should say so the left one is chocolate milk and then the right one is white milk since I mentioned they were a dispenser they have like this dispenser handle where if you push down on it it could go down and you could pretend that you are filling up a glass of milk that second shelf I was talking about, which is a bit lower, a little bit lower than the milk dispensers, it's just a blank shelf so you can put anything there. Um, whatever your heart desires can go there. So now we're going to be looking at all of the accessories this comes with. So first we're going to be talking about all of the cookies you get because that's like the best part, right? First type of cookies that you get are two peanut butter cookies. So these are really detailed. You get two of them and they are just literally like the real thing. I mean, look at all the details. Like you can even like feel the details. Like these are very textured. Ugh. I just love those. So next cookies that you get, now some of you might say that these are chocolate chip. They are not. These are oatmeal. So you get two kind of cookies that look similar. I'm pretty sure these are the oatmeal cookies and what I'm going to show you later is the chocolate chip because these were kind of hard to tell but I'm pretty sure these are oatmeal. And next you get what our generation is calling the candy cookies. These are basically, these look like, these kind of remind me of M&M cookies. You have like blue M&Ms orange, red, and yellow, and you get two of those cookies as well. On to the next batch of cookies. We have two chocolate chips. So these kind of are like darker than like the oatmeal cookies and like the chips look like they're actually chocolate chip. That's why I'm thinking those two are the chocolate chip cookies. Once again, I was kind of confused. I was like, wait, these are like so hard to tell apart. And I was like, hold on. Like once like actually looking at them and looking at the differences. Okay, next two, and once again, you get two of those chocolate chip cookies. I can't remember if I said that or not. So the next type of cookie you get is the white chocolate chip cookies with like a dark brown chocolate chocolate dough with white ch chips in them, you know, white chocolate. You get two of those cookies. Very pretty, very, these are making me hungry. Okay, and then these last two cookies in this batch. This is what our generation is calling confetti cookies. I'm not really sure what these are because I never had one, I don't think, but I'm thinking maybe these are possibly sugar cookies with sprinkles in them because they are like this white kind of dough with like different specks of like red and blue in them so I'm not really sure but hey they look really good so you get two of those. In our next batch of cookies we have two black and white cookies. On the top they are black and in the bottom they are white. And these are just like so good. They look so good. And you can actually kind of like feel like the the black part and the white part, which is really cool. Like the black part is kind of a little bit more rough and the white part is a little bit more smooth. Very, very cool. Our generation love the textures. And then you get four of what our generation is calling sugar cookies. So you get two of these sugar cookies that are, well both of them are like in flower shaped, okay, but then these two are kind of like the regular sugar cookie color but with pink frosting. Then you kind of have like a hole in the middle. 
too, which is really cute. Got like a cute little flower. And then you get two of this like brown sugar cookie um, with brown frosting. Our next set of cookies are Whoopie Pies cookies. I personally call these sandwich cookies because they kind of remind me of an Oreo. <laughs> so you get two of, uh, well you basically get four general. And four in total, I should say. But you get two that are these pink cookies with looks like powder sugar and then white icing in the center. And then, you know, you get that white powder sugar and the pink cookie on top. So that's what it looks like on these. And you get two of those. And then the next set of whoopie pies or as I like to call them, sandwich cookies. You have this dark, I think it's like a chocolate cookie with that same icing in the middle, but you have like this pink, maybe powder sugar, or pink sprinkles on the icing in the middle, which is very, very cute. Then here's what the cookie kind of looks like on top. And you can like tell just by running your fingers over it that, oh, these are like the chocolate with the white icing and the pink sprinkles. And then on top of the pink, cookies you could tell oh this is the pink with the white powder sugar like our generation did not come to play with like the textures and oh I just love it next up you get five macaroon or macaron I call them macaroons uh, cookies these are another type of sandwich cookies these are just like past our generation macaroons or macarons cookies that you get in past our generation sets so there's nothing too different about them except for the colors you get a pink cookie with kind of like this light blue slash kind of gray light blue purple kind of I would say it's a light blue icing inside and then you get this like brown kind of cookie with like this like kind of like orange icing inside or like a tan kind of cookie on the outside and then you have an orange cookie with like some light orange icing inside and camera might look a bit white. I feel like these colors are probably going to show up different on camera and you're all going to be like, she is insane. She has no idea what her colors look like. Uh, this is a green one with a light, kind of a darker kind of green filling inside. So very, very cute. And then my favorite, I think, is this like white and black kind of marble cookie with orange filling inside. I really think it's like this really pretty color. I mean, look at like the marble. Like, it's just so pretty. Like, I just love that. Now we're on to our five heart cookies. These are like, I feel like, almost in every single Our Generation accessory set or like play set that involves cookies. These are most likely going to be in them because Our Generation has used these type of cookies in several, and I mean several, of their past accessory sets. I feel like it's like, this is like the iconic part of their brand. Like it's not an Our Generation set unless they have this in there um, because they use it so much and I love it. Like these are like my favorite. I I just love it. So anyways, so you get five of these. Two are like these like sugar ones with red kind of filling. So it's like a heart shape and then you have like a circle inside or like in the middle of the heart, okay? So in the middle of the heart is that red, okay? And then you have three which is like chocolate and then in that circle in the middle of the heart it's like this kind of orange. So maybe like chocolate with like an orange filling, like maybe peanut butter or something. I don't know. But anyways, these are just super duper cute and they're really textured. They're really detailed. Our generation does such a good job with these cookies. Our last type of cookies are these eight meringue cookies. So basically what these are, I literally thought they were candy at first. I was like, wait, what is this? Because I was like, I don't think I've ever heard of these cookies or I've never seen these cookies in real life. Maybe I haven't. I haven't realized it. But anyways, these are like essentially cookies that are like shaped, you know how you ice a cupcake, you kind of have that icing go up in like a swoosh, you know, like a pyramid kind of, but not like a pyramid, it's like a circle kind of little thing. These are kind of like that, like that's the best shape I can describe it in. But they're really cute and they're really detailed, they're, like the texture is really, really cool, like you can feel the texture with the details, um, and yeah. These are like light colored, so you get two that are these like bright pink, 
but like pastel bright pink. And then you have two that are like pastel green, and then you have like some pastel like light pink, and then you have like this pastel yellow. Remember how I was talking about the milk kind of dispensers? Well, you get milk and this cute little glass. So you get two milks, okay, in like a glass. We'll talk about it. So they're kind of like in like these old time milk containers, okay? So the first one is white milk, okay, and it's in that old kind of milk carton container, and it has a pink straw that can come out of the milk, so if you wanted to use the straw for something else, oops, I just dropped it, I'm so clumsy, <laughs> um, if you wanted to use the straw for something else, you can if you wanted, or whatever, or if your doll does not want a straw, hey, you can take it out. And then the next one is chocolate milk, um, which also comes with a pink straw that you can take out and is in that old kind of milk container. So now we're going to be going into the supplies that you get with this cookie cart. If you kind of been noticing, I've been putting the cookies just on the counter without anything on them because I kind of wanted to save the supplies and stuff. Anyways, you get four kind of cookie pans that you could place cookies on. These are really, really cute. They are these light brown color, and they actually have a textured inside. They're like these indented kind of polka dots, and they feel really cool. Yeah, very, very neat. They do stack on top of each other with cookies and without cookies. So that's really cool if you're, like, moving cookies around or if you need to carry your cookies on, like, your little trays to somewhere else in your doll room. These are the last kind of three things that you get in the set. You have a clear jar with a lid so the lid can come off. Our generation and the stock photos and different things, they put those meringue cookies in here. And then they also put those meringue cookies. And really, I guess you could put any cookies in your cookie card in this. This is a light brown a bag that you could put cookies in. It actually has a clear kind of window on the front that's shaped into a heart and you have this light pink heart outline around it. So this is actually paper so you want to be careful when playing with this in case it rips or anything. So kind of handle that with care. And then you get these tonsils. So you get one pair of tonsils um, or tons, however you want to, not tonsils, they're like tons, whatever, anyways. Um, they're like this gray with this light pink. So next up you get two cake trays is what our generation's calling these two. Um, these are this like mint kind of color. They're really, really pretty. So in stock photos and stuff, our generation has put the heart cookies on one of the trays and the macaroons on the other. Um, so yeah, that is something you can do or, you know, you can really put any kind of cookies on these. Um, whatever your heart desires. So here's the cookie cart all set up and ready for customers. Oh my goodness, I love this so much. I love the color scheme. I'm such a pink girl, so I really enjoyed this color scheme. And then, I, once again, like I mentioned in the, in the beginning of the video, I love cookies and I love fake food. So this was definitely a hit item for me. It comes with a lot of stuff. I really think you get a lot of things. Um, for the amount that you're paying for. I do have one wish. Well, actually I have two wishes. Um, and this is like if I was being like absolutely picky. So the first wish is I really wish the kind of scooter itself, the motor vehicle part, light, like let up and stuff because you have buttons that you can press down, but they don't actually do anything. I wish the headlights would light up. I wish it would have blinker lights, you know, because you have that little detail at the end of the uh, car. I wish those could actually like blink and maybe make noise. I really think that would be such a cute little detail. Anyways, I really love this cookie car. I think it's really cute. I really recommend it for anyone who wants it, especially for anyone who's like me who loves fake food and loves cookies and loves our generation. So thanks for watching this video, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on my Instagram if you haven't already. It's the same name, Dollies and Rainbows. Check me out on TikTok as well. I also have some fun stuff on there. Check out my doll-themed podcast called The Doll Mom Podcast. I have a really fun episode coming out. Um, and check out my latest episodes. They're really fun, and I just really love doing my podcast. So check it, check a girl out on there, too. Um, you can listen to it really wherever you listen to music and to your podcast. It's pretty much out everywhere. We're on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Apple 
uh, Amazon Music, um, so many different Pandora, so many different platforms you can listen to it on. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Comment down below your thoughts on this cookie cart. If you have it, do you want it? Anything about the cookie cart or our generation, get the conversation started down below if you're able to, of course. And yeah, I think that's it. I think that's all I have to tell you. I'll see you next time. Bye!